This video examines the transmission of a nerve impulse down a neuron. Nerve impulses have a domino effect. Each neuron receiving an impulse must pass it on to the next neuron and make sure the correct impulse continues on its path. Through a chain of chemical events, the dendrites pick up an impulse that is shuttled through the axon and transmitted to the next neuron. The entire impulse passes through a neuron in about 7 milliseconds, faster than a lightning strike. Cell membranes surround neurons just as any other cell in the body has a membrane. When a neuron is not stimulated, its membrane is polarized. Polarized means that the electrical charge on the outside of the neural membrane is positive, while the electrical charge on the inside of the membrane is negative. The outside of the cell contains excess positively charged sodium ions, while the inside of the cell contains excess positively charged potassium ions. In addition to the positively charged potassium ions, many more negatively charged protein and nucleic acid molecules also inhabit the cell. Therefore, the inside of a neuron is negative as compared to the outside of a neuron by minus 65 millivolts. Rusting potential gives the neuron a break. When the neuron is inactive and polarized, it is said to be at its rusting potential. It remains this way until a stimulus comes along. When a stimulus that surpasses threshold levels reaches a rusting neuron, the sodium ion gates open. Sodium ions rush into the neuron and depolarization occurs, changing the charge from minus 65 millivolts to plus 40 millivolts. This depolarization creates an action potential. After the inside of the cell becomes flooded with sodium ions, the gated ion channels on the inside of the membrane open to allow the potassium ions to move to the outside of the membrane. The loss of positively charged potassium ions to the outside of the neuron causes repolarization of the membrane, changing the charge back from the plus 40 millivolts to minus 65 millivolts. Although the membrane potential has repolarized, the sodium and potassium ions are in the wrong locations. Potassium ions are now on the outside of the membrane, and sodium ions are now on the inside of the membrane. Before the neuron can fire again, the ions have to be moved back to their original locations. This period is referred to as the refractory or recovery period. During the recovery period, the sodium-potassium pump actively moves sodium ions back outside and potassium ions back into the neuron. Once the sodium-potassium pump actively returns the ions back to their original locations, the neuron stays in the resting potential until another impulse comes along. The following figure shows transmission of an impulse. Be sure that you are able to explain what is happening to a neuron at each stage of the graph. Be aware that depolarization may also be referred to as the upswing phase, and repolarization may also be referred to as the downswing phase in relation to the graph. 